early America was a strange place, a free land in which no one blushed to the thought of sending a president a block of cheese. Not a snack-sized baby bell, but hundreds of pounds of solid cheese. Seriously, this happened more than once. On today's episode, let's play fromage to the unbelievable stories of presidential cheese. It's actually really good. <laughs> In 1801, a group of Massachusetts women gave Thomas Jefferson a 1,200-pound block of cheese as kind of a thanks-for-being-rad gift. Andrew Jackson also had the privilege of receiving not just one, but at least two, maybe three blocks of cheese. The largest weighed in at 1,400 pounds, gifted to him by Colonel Meacham of Sandy Creek, New York in 1835, served two years later, shortly before Jackson left office. But why wait? The answer? Because how in the world are you going to eat all that cheese, Andy? Give me a break. <laughs> Literally, I broke. <laughs> the fruit of Meacham's labor was four feet in diameter, two feet thick, and was delivered to Jackson via a real legit parade through New York and then by schooner ship, setting sail on the high cheese. <laughs> I did it. Jackson gave giant chunks of cheese to his buddies and ate his fair share, but he was still left with an absurd amount. It was overwhelming and he was helpless. By 1837, Jackson's second term was winding down and he wasn't about to haul a two-year-old mountain of cheese with him out of the White House, so he decided to make the fame fromage a feature player at his last public reception in the presidential palace. Free food. Smart move, Andy. The reception's 10,000 guests devoured the wheel, and it was gone in two hours. What wasn't gone, though, was the stench, and Jackson's successor, Van Buren, had to deal with that lingering odor firsthand. Even Washingtonians could allegedly smell the cheese, which one person dubbed an evil-smelling horror for blocks. Blocks, get it? Cheese. <laughs> what was the name of the script? Former POTUS Barack Obama's administration revived the tradition and brought hashtag Big Block of Cheese Day into the modern era. Leaving the cheddar crisis to Jackson, the administration celebrated virtually sans cheese, like this can, inviting members of the public to share questions with the administration on social media. Ripley's tried to reach out to the Trump administration for comment on the future of Big Cheese Day to no avail, but I'll remain optimistic knowing that orange is the Donald's favorite color. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Sabrina Seek, clearly not lactose intolerant and really not wanting to eat this. This is cool stuff and strange things. Thank God. <laughs> See you next week. <laughs>